Michael Yagni here with another Rich Habits, Poor Habits webcast. Welcome, Tom Corley. Hi, Michael. It's great to be back with you. Now, Tom, I'd like to, this session to talk a bit about our children and our grandchildren. So this video session is going to be of interest to you if you're a parent or if you're planning to be a parent, or I guess even if you had parents. So this is for everybody because the question is, how do you decide if your children are going to be rich or poor? We actually cover the, that section about how to help your children become rich in um, the joint book I've written with Tom Corley, Rich Habits, Poor Habits, which you can get online at richhabitspoorhabits.com and free worldwide delivery anywhere. Now, Tom, you've studied this a lot. What are your thoughts about it? This is such a big topic for me, Michael. You know, I have spent so much time talking to high school students about the rich habits because um, in my mind, that's, they're young and their habits haven't really been forged completely yet. So if I could get them uh, to, I guess, become aware that habits are important and that they're going to make them rich or poor, depending on what habits they forge in life, uh, then if I can get them to listen to me, Michael, I can help transform their lives. And this particular topic comes from an article I had written uh, about the 15 poverty habits that parents teach their kids. This article, Michael, had, has had nearly 4 million hits on my blog. Uh, and that's incredible. You know, when you think about it, uh, I, I get at least 10,000 to 20,000 hits on this article almost every single day. It's so, so it, the reason, and, and here's the reason why, because parents, they want their kids to have a great life. And, uh, but they don't necessarily know exactly how to, you know, lay the foundation for that great life. They only know what their parents taught them or what their friends are doing, other parents that are their friends. So I, this article, the reason why it uh, resonated so much was because parents love their children and they want the best uh, for their children. So Tom, what are the rich habits parents teach their children? And I guess in turn, what are the poor habits, the unproductive, disempowering habits they learn from their parents? So a lot of these habits are the ones that we've talked about in previous uh, videos that we've done and pr previous podcasts. Uh, but it's things like reading to learn, not reading, you know, just for the sake of reading, reading to learn. So parents are teaching their kids, this, the parents of self-made millionaires, taught their pre-self-made millionaire children that they needed to read every day an hour or more. They had to go through at least two or three books a month. Uh, they, ha they had to uh, read specifically things that were going to help them gain knowledge in life. So, And the other thing is they um, limited their consumption of TV. Nowadays, the, the successful parents, the parents, let's put it this way, the parents of future self-made millionaires are teaching their kids not only the reading habit, but also uh, their uh, monitoring their use of the internet, the Facebook, the Snapchat, and all that stuff. They're monitoring how they use their cell phone. So these are the successful, these parents are gonna be creating successful kids who, uh, who are trying to limit how much time their kids waste on, on these kind of things. And uh, they're also, they're, they're teaching their kids how to build relationships with other success-minded people. Where do you find them? Well. Typically, they're in volunteer, you have to volunteer, and they're in nonprofit groups. So the, the parents of the future self-made millionaires are teaching them to volunteer, and uh, that's very important. They're also teaching their kids to exercise, and specifically exercise aerobically, because that uh, helps increase the amount of oxygen in the brain and grows the neurons. Well, there's a whole list of things that they teach them. So rather than you going through all those, what we'll do is uh, we'll post those at the bottom of this video so people can uh, re read through them all. But I guess the fact is that the poor are poor because they've got so many poverty habits and too few rich habits. And I think what you're saying is that the best parents teach their children good habits to lead to success. And um, those others teaching the kids bad habits that lead to poverty and it's not because they're bad parents the trouble is they know no different because they've learned from their parents so if you're a 
parent or planning to be a parent, uh, these sort of lessons are very important. The lessons in rich habits, poor habits are very important also for you but because we've spoken about it before. Who are your models? Who are your mentors? And when you're young, that, that, that really falls to your parents. They're your, your greatest role models, aren't they, Tom? Yeah, I, I actually, parents are often the only shot any of us have at having a mentor, a success mentor in life. So when parents don't fulfill their obligation as a success mentor, well, you know, the kids fall into that 95% of the population that are eking out a living, Michael. Now, Tom, some people are going to read this list or read our book and say, hey, I can't follow all those habits. It's just too much. I can't do all 17 that you've listed. I've got to tell my children. What's your answer to them? Yeah, my, so this is, that's a, such a great question because the, the whole thing about the rich habits is you only need to adopt one or two of these rich habits. Like, let's say if you adopted the reading habit to learn. Well, that's going to help you become successful in some future career. Let's say that you adopted the exercise habit. Well, that's going to keep you healthy, give you, uh, and when you're healthy, that means fewer sick days, means more productivity, more energy, uh, longevity. So you, you adopt one or two of these habits, and these things will stay with you for the rest of your life and transform your life. So the answer is you don't have to do them all at once. And to be fair, we all have a blend of rich habits and poor habits. It just really depends upon the balance, doesn't it, Tom? That's it. It's like a, I call it a teeter-totter, the, the habit seesaw. Uh, so you have on one side the rich habits, on the other side the poor habits. We all have them. Self-made millionaires have them. Uh, the difference is between self-made millionaires and the other 95% of the population who are eking out a living uh, the difference is that on the self-made millionaire seesaw, they have an, a significantly more rich habits than they do poor habits. Fantastic. Now, we've discussed these in various uh, videos before. We're going to continue discussing them the, each week in these videos, this video series as well. But if you're a parent, please read the list of uh, habits that you should start to adopt firstly for yourself, but also to display them to your children at the bottom of this video. As well as that, why not uh, subscribe to Tom's blog at richhabit.net where you actually go to daily. You send something out daily about habits, Tom. So that's great. And why not pass this video forward to a friend, somebody who's a parent, about to be a parent, so they can help their children. Part of the reason Tom and I do this is to pass this information forward. So thank you very much for those insightful uh, lessons, Tom. All right. Um I'm happy you uh, had me on to, to share that information. It's uh, important information.